let's look at follows and hangs, which are another timing tool that we can use as we go through our queue stack. Follows and hangs will both execute the next queue in the queue stack automatically, but the way that they work is slightly different. I think of them as a series of stopwatches. A follow stopwatch begins the second the go button is pressed. And whenever that timer, that stopwatch is complete, it will auto follow into the next queue. A hang stopwatch doesn't begin until a queue is complete. Then that timer runs and at its completion, the queue stack will follow into the next queue. Let's take a look at some examples. We're going to add follows and hangs to some queues we have already created. So let's select queue four through six and we're gonna change those all to a time of two. So we can do that in one fell swoop. And now I'm going to say Q4 follow hang, which is a soft key abbreviated FW slash HG, and that will post follow to our command line. Three, enter. So we'll see a couple things in our PSD here. We'll see an F3 in our follow hang column. That's indicating this has a follow of three seconds. We will also see an arrow on Q5. That is a quick way to tell us that Q5 is now an uncalled Q. It's gonna run automatically at some point after Q4. So to see how this works, let's go to Q3. And once we're there, go ahead and press your go button into Q4. So that follow stopwatch is going to begin the moment we press go. And at its completion, it's going to automatically advance into Q5 using Q5's standard timings. In this case, our follow was one second longer than the fade time of Q4. So we had a two second fade of Q4, one second of nothing happening, and then Q5 began. We can also get follow onto the command line with a keyboard shortcut. So we're going to say Q5, shift delay, which will also post follow to the command line. Five, enter. And again, we will see our F5 in our column and our arrow indicator going into Q6. And now we're gonna say Q6, shift, delay, delay. When I press follow twice, we get the word hang on the command line. This also works the same way if we use our soft key. Three, enter. So the difference in the PSD here is we have an H3 for hang of three seconds instead of an F, and we still get our same indicator going into Q7. So when we run this, Q6 will finish its fade in a time of two, and then the hang stopwatch will begin run for three seconds before executing Q7. Let's go ahead and watch all of these run in time. So we will go to Q3 again. And go ahead and press go into Q4. That follows running, takes us to five. That follow runs concurrently with the time. And on Q6, the hang stopwatch doesn't begin until that two second queue fade is complete. It is possible for multiple queues to run at the same time. So for example, if your follow time is less than your queue time, the next queue will begin before the first queue is complete. To remove a follow or a hang, we can simply type the queue number, follow, enter. This is another tool we can use in order to get some dynamic looks as we flow through our queue list.